How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Bells Above mod, heading back down to the 10th level here, the second level of the caves, just dealt with the smith, that was a gong show, now we can and move on and see what's next. I knew the mushroom and the anvil were coming up around this time, uh, I honestly don't remember what the next step of quests is for me, maybe it'll be a, a new add-on thing, so interested to see where we're headed. Magic Protection Cauldron. You no longer fear Arcane. Ah, I thought maybe it would uh, protect me against anything. Like these guys shooting their ice orbs or whatever it is that they're chucking at me. Weird that they're like red death and that they're immune to fire and everything, but then they shoot ice. I don't understand how they managed to, to do both like that, but good for them. It's uh, oh my sweet fuck, what the hell just happened? What the shit was going on there? Did I kill that thing? Did it also die? Something was, something was stomping the hell out of the ground there, shaking the whole screen and everything. I don't remember them having that ability. God damn, I don't think I remembered to make a, uh, a portal. Yep, son of a bitch, I didn't. So now we do the, the long way. I feel like there's a little bit of middle of the map things going on here on level 9 that I didn't really explore. Maybe it just doesn't show up because it's all this uh, zigzaggy lava islands. But I would be really annoyed if I found out later that I had skipped something. Yeah, it's just it's just a bunch of lava island stuff. Confirmed thorough exploration, secluded cauldron. Oh, the way is cleared when viewed from above. So I just I have like no. Oh, it revealed 100% of the map. And also, I have, like, no fog of war going on anymore. It's not, like, shrouding my vision or anything. So, peek around. That's... I think I... I think I did everything. Well, let's go back to that shit show where the caves were collapsing and I just got destroyed very quickly. It's, it's one of these champion guys who did it, I'm pretty sure. One of these fucking guys who shoots out like a million different skills and stuff. My god. The amount of times that I have made it down to like three health or whatever and then been given the opportunity to use a potion. I don't know if this game has some sort of forgiveness calculations programmed right into it that like when you're clearly about to get your ass handed to you and you're going to die because you just planned poorly and you suck at the game. If it's like, ah, well, that would have been a killing blow, but here's like a quick forgiveness coin toss or whatever to, to make sure you end with only 10, 10 health instead of like directly zero. Give you that quick opportunity to like heal yourself. You're that or the game's not as hard as I think or I'm not as close to dying as often as I think or anything, but I think I'm pretty frequently very, very close to dying. A ring. Oh no thanks. You guys keep your distance. I'm not getting involved in that again. Why does killing these things shake the whole screen like that? Specifically the champion obsidian lords. It's like a weird very specific thing. Oh god another one hidden behind the wall there. Sneaky obsidian lords. They either charge you at full speed from across the screen, or they sneak up from like two inches away from you. Here, I hear one wailing. Wailing away like a whale. A big wailing whale. Just planning. Planning his next move. Trying to decide. Is he going to psych me out from a distance, or is he going to sneak up from just like an inch away? Bone spirit. Cool. It's cool as shit. I, and I can learn it. I will. I shall. Let's chuck out a bone spirit to see what it looks like. Hmm. Weird. Lamer than expected. Definitely costs health to cast, so I'd want to be very careful with that. Good, he missed. <laughs> Good thing he's such a slow, floaty, like cardinal direction moving ghost rather than like a big badass thing that anyone would actually be scared of for damage ooh baby that's just a shame he's terrible at hitting his mark 
Maybe it costs health, but also heals you or something? I don't know. It seems like kind of a garbage spell to me. I can't get there. Look at all these doors I'm sliding through. You guys are crowd like cattle over here. I have found my way down, but I will be exploring more of the level before I commit to that. Whoa. Oh, there's the waypoint. I don't think I'm going to open a thermaturgic thing this time. Not sure if I really liked it last time. I see no real reason to return to town immediately, so I'll just keep venturing onwards. That's where I found the anvil. This is all that stuff that I was killing from a distance while I was dealing with that. Turns out there's not actually a ton over here. Whoa. Weird little corner. That, this is the sort of shit that's going to be annoying about the caves that I've mentioned before, is dealing with these little corners that are generated. But most of them are going to be a bunch of nothing. Uh, I remember this spot well. It's where I got murdered mercilessly. <laughs> I think that's a pretty thorough look through level 10. I, I'm comfortable enough to go down to 11 at this point, I'd say. Let's chuck down a portal. I guess we did just have the waypoint, but let's keep it easy. Ooh, starting to fight vipers now, which I think the worms are basically reskins of the vipers. Depends what order they made them in. Maybe the vipers are reskins of the worms, but I think since that quest was cut, it was probably like a late edition, so I would assume that that, was, that came second. I don't remember if these things have any a crazy ability of like turning invisible or anything. I remember them being a pain in the ass, but right now they just kind of slid it around and didn't do a whole lot of anything. Didn't really make themselves out to be very big threats, did they? I mean, for some reason, I, they have like four arms like Goro, and they're carrying around like four daggers or something. And then also, presumably, they have fangs and stuff. Like, they seem like they would be pretty hardcore enemies. But then they just kind of slither real slowly and don't do a whole lot of nothing. That's right, a whole lot of... they don't do a whole lot of nothing. They don't not do a whole lot of nothing either. The Lich Demon. Sometimes you see Lich spelt without a T. Most often. Because I'm thinking of like the Lich King, like L-I-C-H, or the, the Lich Hero from like from Warcraft 3 and Warcraft 3 and World of Warcraft. If you're thinking of the Lich King, that's I primarily from Warcraft 3, but reused in World of Warcraft, or like then the Lich What the hell is it? Short Staff of Okay, very short staff. But yes. I'm much more used to Blizzard using the Lich without a T. Getting close to a level up here again. Probably going to need to run to town for potions pretty soon. Especially when these guys start doing shit like that. No thanks. Those guys are more dangerous up close than they are from a range. Much, much more dangerous than the snakes are from any distance. Even the possessed vipers are just big old wimps. Oh, oh, he came over here and drained all of my mana and slowed me down a bunch. So maybe I won't tease these guys a little bit until after I've killed them. Then I can do it a little more confidently. Hmm. Not coming along great, is it? Ooh, boy. That's a good way to lose all of your potions and your confidence. I take back everything I said. Excuse me while I run to town and <laughs> take care of this situation. I've embarrassed myself enough. Oh, Jillian has something she'd like to say. She might actually be Gillian. Hello, I think it's Jillian. Stay a while and listen. Better magic getting is nice. Ooh, added strength. Plus to all attributes, though. Yeah, no thanks to the crown, I'd say. Plus 2 to 20 lightning damage and fast attack speed. Man, I just want everything to have very fast attack speed, though. It'd be so hard to go back to. Ah, shit. I guess I'll buy it just to see how much damage per second would change. 
It will go down still. It'll still go down. God damn it. Nothing is worth it except for the hunter bow. Oh, yeah, let's go check in with Jillian hey, first. Pauline, but have you heard what has been happening? Some of the men have vanished from the village. Disa's sons, Do you mean like and everyone? Claim to have seen strange lights everyone? Deep within the woods a few days ago. In the no woods. One has heard from them since. I too have seen a crimson shimmering from beyond the ash groves, but I've been also too what is that accent like Irish or something? No one else here is Irish. Or our healer Pepin may be next. I think his Griswold is Scottish. Hmm. What a weird eclectic thing. In the woods, though, you never do anything above above ground. And Dariel, maiden of anguish, what the shit? That's was originally gonna be a thing in Diablo One. I gotta talk to people about that, cause that is news to me. While the barmaid may seem a bit confused at times, <laughs> it is true that men have been <laughs> disappearing dummy. from the village. Oh the yeah, yeah, she's not so dumb that she didn't notice that. Temptress called Undariel, known as the Maiden of Anguish. Her thirst for mortal blood. Is she really so tempting great. people away? Isn't she like 12 feet tall and crazy spider arms and stuff? By seducing one of the dark sorcerers of the netherworld, Andariel took the knowledge she needed and so began to lure mortal men into her dark corner of hell. If these legends are true... But then, like, what is she doing? Is she eating them? Is she torturing them? Or is it a little bit of, uh... Is it is it worth it? Got a little bit of death by snoo snoo going on down there. Sign me up. I uh, I'm very curious about that. I'm so excited to explore that. I guess I, I guess I go deal with this uh, some of the stuff below ground here first. Oh, I think I already see the next staircase I need to head to. Oh man, yeah, I might just have to pull shoot. On on this eleventh floor here, because I want to I want to figure that out. I want to explore this quest that's totally new to me. Hmm. If there was some way I could sprint over to that level twelve thing and then sprint my way to a waypoint, I'm gonna flirt with that very quickly here and see what the odds are that I can get away with something like that. Just hug this wall. Where nothing else is. We'll squeeze our way around. Because uh, eventually I'm going to have to come back for, you know, the caves and everything. And I would like to set myself up nicely because I don't think I can do much more than like four episodes in this one sitting here. And then all the, all the maps will reset and everything. Always a huge pain in the ass. Always trying to plan ahead for that. All in a dexterity this time. I I want more damage. Look at us creeping our way around. Wait a fucking second! I went the long way. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing blocking this corner here. You can literally just take the kitty corner. Oh, forgive me for uh, whatever. I just didn't. It was just bad luck, basically. All right, I'm gonna sprint around here. here. I'm gonna try and sprint around for a waypoint. You're kidding me. That has got to be the best luck I possibly could have had. That's <laughs> meant to be. The game wanted me to pull that shit. So now, the next time I want to do anything in the caves, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop out of the 12 waypoint, run up to 11, and then even if it takes like exploring all of 12 to find that, it won't matter because like that'll help with my overall forward progress anyways. Farnham, what the hell's going on at your house, buddy? You've literally never left your house before. I've never seen Farnham in an another place. That's a weird one. What the shit is going on up here? Hey, you there. Come here, listen up. You know about the island I wonder if I triggered this by going down to level 12. Pick the right rocks, but you better shield your eyes. Shield everything. I know, because I've been there and... Hell. Mm. What did he... What did he... 
The Island of the Sunless Sea? That's another new thing that I have no idea what any of this is. What do you have to say about Andariel? Have you ever been flirted with by this lady? Okay, this guy's got nothing to say. What about you, Ogden? Have you ever been flirted with by this seductress? I certainly haven't seen any strange lights, and if I did, they would be the least of my worries. Just totally unconcerned with lights, huh? Whoa, what can I do for you? Whoa, what can I do for you? I admit that I do have seen these strange lights, but I have no one's brought it up before. I'll be sure to steer clear of them, and we'll tell everyone that visits here to do likewise. That ironclad resolve there. No one's seducing Griswold. He does kind of fit the typical characteristics of like, you know, like a bear though. It's never been said, but what me thinks that friend? maybe, uh, maybe he's batting for the other team. Is this over here on the map here? There's something going on over there. I was about to go look up like, where the hell do you access this quest? Cause it's not originally part of the game. Uh, this looks like it has n is totally new. Is this a weird corner that you could always access? Huh. Well, next time, guys, I'm going to be doing the Andariel quest, I think. And, yeah, I'm pretty excited to see what that's going to be all about. And I was just kind of, I was going to set myself up to know where it is. I'm probably going to have to go look up where it is, because I don't want to run a lap of this entire ridiculous thing and then find out that's wrong. So, uh, in between episodes, I'll, I'll figure that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.